cows. They give us milk, cheese, hamburgers, ice cream, and an overabundance of methane. These 1.5 billion innocent grass-munching mammals are now a staple food source for much of the planet. Methane in our atmosphere comes from what many of us rely on every day, livestock, and it's a growing producer. The EPA found that 60% of all methane emissions comes from human activity. The agriculture sector contributes almost half of global methane emissions, 78% of these coming from livestock. The production of methane starts in the rumen, part of their stomach. The food begins to ferment as microbes break down tough to digest foods like grass and hay, but comes at a cost to the environment. Methane gas is released when the cow belches. Methane emissions can come from various other human sources, such as fossil fuels, landfills, waste, rice agriculture, and natural gas. There are many natural sources of methane as well, like wetlands, termites, permafrost, and oceans. Methane traps up to 72 times more heat in the atmosphere than carbon dioxide within a 20-year period. It is a large contributor in a short period of time, and although it has a life expectancy of around 12 years, its potency makes it an immediate issue for climate change. Methane is the second most prevalent gas emitted by the United States, and accounts for 11% of all U.S. greenhouse gas emissions. It contributes to photochemical smog, which irritates the lungs and eyes, and can cause asthma, specifically in urban areas. The agriculture industry perpetuates the sale and consumption of high-output methane producers like pigs and cows. Americans consume over 50 billion burgers each year. We must lower the amount of methane released into the atmosphere by ending our beef obsession. Our decisions matter, and corporations will listen to our wallets. Farmers have begun altering their cows' diets to mitigate the amount of methane they produce. Shifting to better practices like these could prove economically beneficial for farmers and consumers. Supporting sustainable farming practices is key. The La Franchi farm does recognize the effects that the cows have um, on the environment and work with an organization called Malt. And they do have regulations on how much or how many cows they can have on the farm so they can lower the amount of methane in the air. We can have an individual impact by making educated choices about our food. Rather than beef or pork, choose chicken or other poultry. One could also become vegan, buy more fresh and local food, and educate yourself and others. We can take action and solve this problem together.